There are people who need your priesthood service. Your family needs you. Your quorum needs you. The church needs you. The world needs you. There is an urgency for you to fulfill your duty to God. My name is Michael. I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I definitely believe that uh, as of now, in this time of my life, that I've been called to the work. Being a priesthood man is thinking not of yourself, but thinking of others. It's what, you, the way you serve people is what makes you a priesthood man. The Aaronic priesthood is not only the preparatory priesthood, but it is the power to serve now. In Doctrine and Covenants section 20, we read, the priest's duty is to preach, teach, expound, exhort, and baptize, and administer the sacrament. As you fulfill your duty to God, you will strengthen and bless your family. This is your greatest priesthood duty. My greatest goal is that my brother sees me as someone that really does love him and really wants to take care of him. If I love him more than anything. We try to be great examples to each other to show each other what the right thing is to do. And um, yeah, there have been so many times we've borne testimony about certain things to each other, about what we were discussing, and it is very powerful. I love those. As you fulfill your duty to God, you will reach out to your friends who are not of our faith and help prepare them to join the church. Like a true brother, you will watch over and strengthen them. Well, as far as numbers of the members of the church at my school, there's not that many. Um, uh, very few on the football team. There's two of us, including me. But what uh, we do to strengthen each other is um, a tradition we have before games is uh, we will have a devotional with each other. We'll read the scriptures on the bus and uh, we'll actually get the whole team together. At first, a couple of the other football team that weren't members would join in and uh, then the numbers grew and grew and we'd read like uh, from the Book of Mormon uh, stories about the armies of Helaman or something that really strengthens you about before a football game. If uh, you have scripture and, uh, and it's God's will for you to understand it, to read it, and take from that as much information as you can, I believe that it's the right thing to do. And, me not being a LDS Mormon, I still believe that if I take the meaning and knowledge gained from Scripture, not only from the Bible, but in the Book of Mormon, it can help me understand things more clearly. They really enjoy it. I've had uh, guys uh, right before a game, they're saying, oh, everybody, everybody, devotional, or come on, we gotta have our devotional. Michael and, and others and myself believe that we're leading this football team and we're leading others to gain knowledge not only in the, the sport but also what's, what's next, the life that they're going to have after football, after high school, in the future. And Michael does a good job at that, uh, mentoring younger kids, fellow teammates, and uh, Everyone just has the right attitude when he's around. My work is to bring to pass the immortality and eternal life of man, the same uh, work that my Father in Heaven has for us. <laughs>